100% LCFC with Yonge in association with Peter Pizzeria. So we're back, myself, we've got Alan Young with us, we've got Sinky John Sinclair, and we've got Matt and we've got Annie, who are Foxy fans. Woo. And Phil, remember, remember, yeah. Yeah. remember Will, Phil. Well, Will gone. Well, Phil. Phil. Will. Phil it's is Will, not Will. <laughs> did I say, what did I call you, You called me Matt. Did I? I? Do you know I do that? I don't look like a, you, like a Matt. You do look like a no, Matt. Thanks, like Matt. Matt. Anyway, it's Phil. <laughs> <Will. laughs> it's about right, Phil. And um, Phil, for, remember, don't, don't forget Phil. Well, Phil's the cameraman Filming today. Filming Phil. He's filming. I don't know, where are you going to put this when it's done? YouTube. All right. I should get I should get 10 hits then. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, by the way, Sinky, I think you'd be uh, great. Why don't you go for the Villa job? Because it looks like you're only up against Gary Neville. Oh, Ooh, I, Actually, I've got a lot of time I'm, to go. As a punter, Gary Neville you know was what? very good, actually. He was great on Sky, don't you think? Yeah, I, I think he's very good. And what a great job he was doing with Salford. He should go back to that, yeah. do that, bring them through the ranks. I reckon in time he will be a good manager. Yeah, I think you're right. I like him. Yeah. I like him. I, I never liked him as a player. player. Neither did I. Never liked him no, as a player. Now, and yeah, some I think that it's as, changed people's minds now, hasn't he? You yeah. know, doing his stuff on Sky... Yeah. I watched and I listened because he talked a lot of sense. He's really, really sense. good. But I, he's been he's been given the heave horn from Valencia. He has, and he's yeah. in, in the frame for the Villa job. But so his results were poor at Valencia, weren't they? Really? Wow. I mean, the, the, I mean the, you the go there. Great. Does he speak Spanish? Language one thing. barrier. I think Language is, barrier yeah. is one thing. All right, mad for it. Mad for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, let's move on. England game then. England, England. What a result against the Germans. Well, here's a thing, Twiggy. I got a message this morning. From the USA. Uh, Is that near that Germany? <laughs> <laughs> I get all the kids that play soccer, football, over yeah. in, uh, in the USA. Jamie Vardy's goal. Flick. Yeah. Remember the Cruyff turn, named after, obviously, Johan Cruyff. God bless sadly, his soul. Yeah, yeah, sadly missed. Um, they're naming it the Vardy. It's called the, the Vardy. And they're practising the, it. All the kids... Are doing the Vardy. Right. So to get a trick or a flick named after you, how cool is that? Did you ever do anything like that, Alan? I was never that good, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I was straight up and down the middle, mate. Yeah. <laughs> is he one of the? Is he one of your favourites, Annie Vardy, or who, who's who nah, would you? I was always an Albrighton fan myself, but no, I think. Don't you think he should have got an England squad? No, I do. Maybe last season. I definitely think he was better. I think he was better. Season. I think he's better this season. I think he's improved immensely. Mm. I mean, maybe playing consistently and more regularly and stuff helps with that. But no, I'm definitely an All Brighton fan. But Vardy played brilliantly against Germany. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of. I mean, supporting them. I didn't see the whole game because we. I don't like watching. I've said I, I'm not. I'm. I'm an England fan, but it, no, international. Not. No, you know, you're not. No, right. if you don't watch. Well, that. I'm half. I'm no, half you're English, not. No, you're not. half Irish. You're not. So I I'm watch Scottish, both. and I'm screaming when Jamie's Vardy scores. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I find I find the games boring. The tactics, it's boring. It's across the back, across the back, back to the keeper. It then has been like that. I'll back, give you that. I'll give you that. It's but dull. in the game it's against Germany, the first ball, the first thing, but they I must have been told, look forward first. Let's get the ball forward well, first. Well, that's fine. And if I'm they keep not, playing like that, then I'll change my mind and I'll start to watch it. But and it I'm wasn't not, quite I, the same as... It was different, a different formation, different tactics against Holland. Will, you're, you're, you're a big Leicester fan. Obviously, yeah. I bet you watched it because of the Leicester thing. Yeah, that's I, that's I, the, I know that's you the, did, John. Yeah, that's the whole thing. You know, Before, I might have struggled to watch the whole England game because of what you're talking about. But now you've got you know Vardy and Drinkwater playing. You're riveted. You want to watch the whole thing. Uh, what, so about, what about sorry Twiggy sorry uh, Ian what about um, <laughs> he's getting called all sorts of things but, but, but what way. about what about Wayne Rooney in the studio hey, they found his best yeah best position in the <laughs> studio <laughs> he goes yeah. no but some of the stuff that he was saying that he was excited to be part of this mm. group yeah. you know the youngsters and the ability and everything like that and I thought that was that's good I thought it was very very clever yeah. because he didn't have to answer questions about are you going to get back in this team pal mm. but what was what was hilarious Twiggy was that it, well at least his son's got a bit of taste because he asked his dad to yeah. get a Jamie I know Vardy did, I, know, I know he did <laughs> <laughs> well Brilliant. can I just ask you do you think England 
obviously they changed the way they played then if yeah. it was a bit more fast and furious rather than tip tap tip yeah. tap across the back uh, yeah. wake me up when there's some action yeah. type game do you think they changed that do you think Hodgson and his team changed that then because of people like drink water and Vardy well, Cause I, it, because you, but Leicester do play with a lot of pace uh, I think that that's it to a degree um, it was more exciting because of that I think a lot of clubs in the Premier League across football now are, are reassessing how they can play football and I think far, that's down, do you not think that's down to us because oh, totally. my son my totally. son Kyle yeah. he phoned me up and he said dad you know what just what just finished watching the Germany game. He said it was like watching Leicester, Leicester. City. Yeah, exactly. England That's what I mean. played like yeah. Leicester yeah. City. Yeah. Do you think that was by design then, or or do you think Jamie is the kind of player to take it a bit upon himself because mm. he. It, it's the positions he gets in, or do you think that's all? Good, by no, design? no, that's a good point, Twiggy. That's a good point because a lot of teams. My points are always it, good points. Carry well, on. well, well, <laughs> this time I'll agree with you. But, <laughs> oh, there's a first. But, no, no, but um, I, I think teams in the Premiership they don't have a Vardy. Vardy's different. He is. Yeah. Vardy's lightning quick. Yeah. And he's he must be a very quick learner because some of the timing of his runs. In behind. And Danny Drinkwater, as I say, go back to the Crystal Palace game, two balls forward, should have been a goal with Marais, setting one into brilliant, fantastic one-touch play, but they've got a relationship. And I think the England players are thinking, wow, this guy can play, this guy can get goals, this guy's quick, This you can't even mark this guy. And I think to get the... It's often been a, a criticism of the England management that they don't use players as they... As they play for the yeah. clubs well, yeah. well, I, for that, the, I think that was position. my initial thing is I think the international thing where it's tip tap tip tap back back yeah, forward yeah. back back sideways they did why do the managers change the way of essentially the, the English the British game when they play against foreign teams, they, they change the way they play, they have done over the years mm. and to see this is refreshing Andy, can I just ask you about th being a Leicester supporter, you're obviously a hardened Leicester fan. Yeah. Is it exciting the way that have you watched Leicester for a long time? Um, since I can remember. Right, yeah. so you can remember. Couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've watched them from from years ago. Then, so is it now more exciting to watch Leicester? Not just because they're at the top of the Premier League, but the way they play. Well, I think, win or lose. Well, no, because I've said to my friend. I mean, they've, Leicester have been an exciting team for at least the last few seasons. Everyone's been kind of slowly getting more and more momentum from. Excited sometimes in the wrong way. Well, yeah, fighting relegation. I, I was saying mm, to yeah. my uncle and dad, walk into the Leicester ground. I don't think I ever have done a walk in my life where every single time I walk it, I'm excited. I'm always, you know, really buzzing walking that same way. I mean, it's not always the same coming back. Normally, you. Well, it has been. Time, yeah, I mean, so, it has been. But recently. like, it's I, I, yeah. I've, I mean, I've always enjoyed watching Leicester. I've always thought we're a, a different team. You know, like, I mean, I can't remember a whole load of players, but they've all, there's always someone on there who's unique or doing something that's just picks the fan. I, always, I think the fans have always been great. Well. So, I'll go to to John. Do you think Do you think Vardy is now a permanent fixture? Do you think he's the one name that you write down first, yeah, second, absolutely. or third on your team sheet when it comes to a three uh, lines absolutely. on his shirt? Yeah, John? you've talked about it already, really the pace and everything else. But you know, let's talk about Danny Drinkwater as well because he got man he, of the match. Didn't but he, when he played, the he played like he did for Leicester. Talking oh, but about it was Glenn Hoddle and, that gave him it. So you know, but he played <laughs> he played with assurance. You know, he picked up the ball. Uh, defensively, as you talked about before, he, he recycled the ball, the ball recycled so the ball. well, John. He did. You and know, I, I think that on a debut, that's got to be one of the best debuts I've, I've seen. Uh, so him and Vardy, I think. Uh, I mean, Drinkwater's place is, you could say, still up for grabs. It'd be interesting to see what Hodgson does with that. But Vardy is certainly there. Did you see? I saw the interview afterwards that he gave uh, Danny Drinkwater. So, well, did, did you see that? Did you see that? when he was speaking afterwards I, I didn't see his interview the passion he, he, he'd got so much he, I thought he was yeah. welling up a little bit because yeah. he mm. was talking about standing there national anthem Wembley wow this is England and, and that's, and that's and come and from and being that, a kid at Man United Twiggy, yes I know it not is. getting a game wondering where his future is gets a break Nigel brought him to to to, um, to Leicester City he fell out with the supporters at Swansea 
when he made a gesture and we weren't playing that well and the fans were getting on him he had to win all the supporters back now they love him and now he's an England international and as you say now he's been stood at Wembley well I mean if Jamie Vardy's got a story what about Danny but but well the point I think I'm, try, I'm just trying to make there is that the fact that he's so proud to play for England yeah but he's as proud to play for Leicester I think uh, I think any player putting a Leicester shirt on at the minute is showing that exact thing everyone from 1 to to 11 it's that way or 1 to 17 or 1 to whatever number, you know, yeah, you know and it, the guys it, on the bench yeah yeah, you, yeah yeah absolutely and uh, I think with Danny I, I hope he's done enough to just make Roy Hodgson think a little bit because I'd like him on on the plane going to France who did you he know, make who made way for him who by the way I, I Oh, Henderson. was it Henderson? Uh, Jordan Henderson was one. It's head yeah. Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, no, and to me, I look at Liverpool. They're twenty odd points. Are they behind us? I don't know something like that. And he's part of that midfield. You know, I, I thought Lallana had a reasonable game the other day, but he's not done a lot for me for England. He's had twenty odd matches. You know, he's not scored. I, you know, he's very, very. Poor, I preferred yeah. him when he was with Southampton. Yeah, I thought too. he was in a. But at Liverpool, they love him. Yeah, yeah they, you know, they like him. Well, they love him as a player as well, but. As you say, is 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 he going to be yeah. ahead of Danny? Is he more likely to get a goal than Danny? But the way that they played Danny, he's yeah. not going to get in the opposition penalty area. That's not his role. His role he is was, when the ball comes out to get on it and play it and he, just play it yeah. simply. He t- he tried to drive forward, but he was coming from very deep uh, in the England match. You know, he, he was, he was in deep, the second deep, half. deeper than he is when he plays for Leicester. He gets a bit more freedom. That's yeah, mainly because, because, he's, because got, he's got, he's, Kante, he's got Kante, beside Kante next to him, who's an absolute gem. Who he's scored, a beast. Who's, he's he's a, a gem. Who scored the first goal for France, didn't he? Yeah. On his yeah. debut. Yeah. And on his birthday. <laughs> not yeah, bad, no, either. Not yeah, bad like Not bad at all. So, yeah. well, actually, while we're just talking about that, we'll go to, to Kante about the fact that I saw a report saying that yes, he would be interested. Oh, I don't think that was the I don't think that was the right word, interested, but would be he's getting a wee bit worrying Twiggy for about, about other teams coming in for yeah. him he didn't kind of say well no I'm a Leicester City player no, he no, didn't no, no. say that does that is that a scary thing for you Annie yeah I mean it is cause I mean he is the king he's a he's a central player for you yeah I mean everyone's worried about anyone going but I think I I'm sure I read something a few weeks ago how he said he'd never been happier since he's been at Leicester mm. like he's, I believe he's happy he's, Happy. Yeah. Did so you know he doesn't hang any pictures up on his wall, Twiggy? Why is that? He just tells them to stay there. <laughs> <laughs> God, is that the best we can do? I thought that was guy? quite good. Do you know that was I've all right. thought about having a week off. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey. I've yeah. never had a week off in my life, son. I mean, like, I mean, like Dan, some of us. Just going back to Danny Drinkwater, I've seen an improvement in him in in two seasons you know the latter half of last season playing with Cambiasso for the time he did has helped him you know he just saw how cool Cambiasso was on the ball and and figured hang on a minute I can hold on to this ball and use it better and distribute it better but again having the little man Kante next to him has given him even more freedom because Kante scoops it all up just passes it to Danny Danny drives it forward Kante for me is the player that's that's made a massive difference this season. Massive. He'd be a massive and we've loss. Got, we've got, he, he would but, be, but it shows how well we're playing if teams want them. Yeah. And I think we've got the financial backing now. I, I think, think there'll be another ten thousand go on that ground within the next couple of years. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's down to money but as such. Because hang on a minute, hang on a minute. So so Kante say so. What would you say Kante's on then? How much do you think he's on? Let's let, let I think he's about no 80, grand, 80 grand a week, isn't he? 80 grand a week. So somebody comes in for him and he knows he can double his money, we right, to 160. Up. What would you do then, Will? Um, I'd weigh my options up, but probably go. You've got a short period where you can earn the money. If he's in, if, if he loves the club, like, I mean, if anyway, if he loved it as much as I do, he'd be there. You know, I mean, look at Steve. That's but Twiggy, Steve, we Steve were talking Gerard earlier. Some we, we were to, talking earlier, Twiggy and I, about it's all very well us keep saying that oh we've only spent 18 million and your Manchester yeah. City's have, have spent 70 odd million 80 million aren't we great I think we are going to have to start thinking in terms of buying at 20 million at 25 at 30 million I think to, to, to sustain what we've are, got now where, where we are, are the right players don't get me wrong you don't always get the best players for 50 million you sometimes get them Jamie Vardy for virtually nothing 
can take. But I think yeah. if we're going to compete with the big boys in Europe, your Barca's, your Real Madrid, your Bayern Munich, your Italian teams, we are going to have to be in the market for. What's his name? The big slots. Um, Ibrahim, 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 Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic, yeah. Ibrahimovic. Yeah, Ibrahimovic. You know, he's yeah, 34 that. years old, but is he the kind of player that might play in European games rather than domestic games? Because he's, he's, won, he's won everything. He's not my cup of tea, but it's just an example. We are going to have to compete. Yeah. And by competing like that, we'll keep your canties. We'll that's, keep. I know that's very the, exciting. Looking forward, isn't listen, it? Really? Can I just, just before we go to our next break, just, just a, a little bit of a mark of respect for the great man Johan Cruyff. Oh. Obviously, we played the Netherlands. Do you know what I met him? Did you really? He came to Filbert Street mm. many, many years ago.